So my husband died in 2019 and I had a knee replacement done in the April and I just thought life was really good. I was felt good and then I did my um, regular mammogram and, and I got a call back pretty much within a couple of days. It was only a matter of weeks and I started chemo. As it got along, I just felt like I was getting sicker and sicker. I knew that I wasn't well. And then I was diagnosed with heart failure from the chemo. Uh, with improvements in cancer care, the five-year survivorship uh, in Australia for all cancers combined is now in excess of 70%. However, that is offset by side effects, both short and long term of cancer therapy, with heart disease emerging as one of the biggest impactors on quality of life for people who survive cancer. Understand, I was so sick. I could not even keep food down. Um, I lost a lot of weight. I'm very much a gardener and very much a, a bit of a clean freak and a cook for people all the time and I couldn't do any of that. I was just beside myself. I just thought, I'm going to have to sell the house. Uh, I've initiated quite and rapidly escalated the four pillars of heart failure therapy, which is the current gold standard of management. Um, and luckily, Heather responded quite well. It's got me going again, like being able to go on holidays, being able to drive to Queensland to see my son and my grandson. It, um, my independence is back. So the ultimate goal is to develop um, cancer treatments um, that is highly effective across a large number of different types of cancer. And as well as on top of that, the drugs do not cause any major um, cardiac problems. We discovered that Byzantrin actually is not only an effective anti-cancer agent, it works synergistically in its anti-cancer effect with a large number of um, pre-existing um, clinically used anti-cancer agents and completely um, amazingly so, it uh, also is uh, providing a lot of cardioprotective effects. There is still a lot to take that idea at a, at a bench side to clinical testing. It is not a cheap process, it's time consuming process, it requires many different approaches, some will succeed, some may not, uh, it's the nature of research. I mean, ideally, if uh, Heather would have received uh, uh, this medication up front with her cancer therapy, she could have potentially avoided the six months of breathlessness, interruption to her cancer treatment, which may still have impact on her life down the track. She would have been able to play with her grandchildren, do the gardening during that time, all of the things that had to be on hold. Uh, for the first few months, she was really just confined to her house because of her symptoms. She was a lucky one. She actually has improved back and got most of her usual life back. Majority of people, however, are not quite that lucky. By doing the trials and finding out what works and doesn't work is extremely beneficial for, we're talking about young parents and things like that, that have children, you know, to have, have their parent around for them to grow up and have that support. Um, yeah, it, if people give, then those things can happen. If they don't, then it doesn't happen.